What is going on world? What's up YouTube? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Modern Warfare video, so let's get into it. So in today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about the touchy subject that is microtransactions and the possibility and the likelihood of microtransactions being in Modern Warfare. So let's talk about it. So guys, there was an article that came out on Dexterto by Isaac McIntyre, and of course, guys, the entire article will be linked in the description down below. But in this article, it kind of breaks down a couple of things that Infinity Ward has said about microtransactions in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and what we can kind of expect, even though they give us some answers, but not the full answers. The Call of Duty community has been outspoken in recent weeks about the future of microtransactions in Modern Warfare, and Infinity Ward's senior communication manager has attempted to alleviate those growing concerns. Fans of the long-standing franchise have expressed their displeasure with the move into more microtransactions in recent releases. On top of that, Call of Duty developers often hold back revealing the microtransaction details on the, until the game has already dropped. This time around, the community is less than eager to be potentially stung by hefty costs on cosmetics and in-game items once they've already purchased the base game, and some have taken to social media to demand early information. Have there been any extensive interviews with the developers asking them what to expect in Modern Warfare's MTX system, asked Reddit user Feel This Moment. Every interview I've seen is so concerned about things like gunplay, map design, multiplayer modes, campaign, but I'm not seeing a single interview where the interviewer is picking at their brains regarding microtransactions. The concern is one held by most of the COD community, but many believe the developers wouldn't respond at all. Infinity Ward's senior communication manager, Ashton Williams, defied expectations, providing fans with a small update on when news would be released. Please be patient, we hear you. We'll share more as we get closer to launch, Williams said in response to the popular post on August 28th. We'll say more when we're ready, thanks. While Williams' update didn't give too many clues about what microtransactions will be like in the upcoming title, Infinity War has been very forthcoming with the new features they will be bringing to the franchise. So guys, what I will say about this is a couple of things. Number one is that it does seem a little bit worrisome that Williams said that, you know, they'll give more information at closer to launch, and so that's really telling me that there are microtransactions within the game. However, it sounds like he's saying we hear you, and that's very good. It's very good that they're they're hearing us at least. The question is, are they going to act on what we are asking of Infinity Ward and of Activision moving forward? And here's one thing I'll say, guys, about about this whole thing is microtransactions, for me, they've never become a problem for me personally because I've always, I've never really taken part in microtransactions because I really thought that a lot of the microtransactions that come out, they really don't have, there's no real value to them. I kind of grew up playing Call of Duty as far as Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 2, some of those older games where it was a grind to get things. Like, it, it felt better to actually earn those things than to buy those things. I'll give you an example. The 10th Prestige Medallion in Modern Warfare 2 was one of the most highly coveted emblems in a, in a game I have ever seen in my life. People were going into, into hacked lobbies and were boosting their accounts to get that medallion because it was just so sick and it was so like new kind of in a multiplayer game having a revolving medallion that's moving around. And it, you know, those were the things that, that I was like excited about the, like the microtransactions, as far as like getting like a new skin or getting some cosmetic item, it never really interest, interested me that much. And I know a lot of people out there, however, do want to get all the different microtransactions that come out and all the different cosmetics. And so obviously I'm not the best person to talk to about microtransactions because it's never really been an issue for me per se, but it's definitely something that I would love to be to kind of help be the voice of those who are stating that microtransactions are a problem, which I do think that they have become a little bit predatory as far as to the consumers. And I think that in moderation, microtransactions can be fine. 
and I believe that full heartedly because it's a way for the game and the publisher developers to make more money. I understand that, but when it becomes predatory and it's and it's a like a gambling system, loot boxes and such, that's where it becomes a significant problem to me and something that I just don't like. I would just love to see microtransactions that are fully cosmetic. They don't give you a competitive advantage whatsoever. And it's just something that is kind of added on there where it, it's not like just in your face consistently. It's more, it's more just there if you want it. And if not, the best things, however, are the things that you can grind for, like that 10th prestige medallion or that 15th prestige moving title in Black Ops 1 and so on and so forth. There's so many different, you know, things that you could get in those early Call of Duties. I want them to go back to those types of days. And I will give a lot of credit to Activision as well as Infinity Ward on the simple fact that there is no season pass now. So I think that they are making a move in the right direction. That being that they're going to keep the community together now. Anytime that there's a DLC drop, everybody's going to be able to play them together because they're going to be free to play. And that is something that we've got to give them credit for. So when they say that we hear you and we're going to share more when we get closer to launch let's give them the benefit of the doubt that maybe this microtransaction system won't be as predatory as years past in Call of Duty maybe they do hear our plea and what we want and obviously they're changing one part of Call of Duty Modern Warfare or as far as the Call of Duty franchise is concerned, which is no season pass, everybody's going to be able to play the DLC for free, and us as a community are going to be able to stick together. I think that's something that we definitely need to think about, and maybe, just maybe, Infinity Ward and Activision will add microtransactions, which I think that we all need to expect that those will be a part of the game. I just don't want it to be predatory for the consumers and for us as fans and players of the game. And I will say this, one thing I do love about the, the microtransactions that I do love, I'll give you an example of, of, of two that I really, to me, they don't even really feel like microtransactions, but in StarCraft 2, they have a war chest, which basically you buy the war chest and you get skins on all of your units for whatever race it is that you use. And that war chest, the money that you pay for the war chest will go towards the WCS Pro Circuit, which is the World Championship Series of StarCraft, for the esports scene. The same can be said for Gears of War. Gears of War has these drops that they would do that were for different like skins and such. Like They would have skins of some of the esports teams, and the money that they would generate from those would go towards the esports scene for Gears of War. That's the kind of thing I want to see from Call of Duty. I want to see things like that because then I would be much more open to giving them some of my money because number one, if I'm getting like a cool like exclusive skin of, you know, FaZe Clan or someone and at the same time, I'm supporting the esports scene, I am much more inclined to be on board with something like that than, of course, just a cosmetic item that means really nothing to me. Most recently, beta testers found new aim assist options in the game, and developer Joe Seacott confirmed these were for all levels of players. It has also been confirmed Modern Warfare will have full crossplay compatibility be between consoles and PC. Modern Warfare is set to release October 25th, 2019 on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. So guys, I'll certainly keep you posted as far as as we get further information about the microtransactions in Modern Warfare. All I'm going to say, guys, is don't jump to conclusions as of yet. Let's wait and see what really comes out, and then we will give them our criticisms based on, you know, the the different microtransactions and such that they may add into the game. But I think, guys, we're already moving in a great direction with there being no season pass and that the DLC is free and everybody's going to be able to play it, which means that the entire community can stick together. So I think that's, number one, a very big step. Number two, I think, would be the microtransactions in the game should be specifically based around the CDL or the Call of Duty League that is coming out for the fr for franchising. And I think those are, those, you know, items and such that we should be able to purchase are things that are supporting our favorite teams, supporting our favorite players, or just overall supporting Call of Duty and the Call of Duty esports scene. That is something that I think would be really awesome because then we can, you know, as we're putting that money in, part of it's going to the developer, 
part of it's going to the publisher, and then part of it is going to the league itself. And so I just think that that would be a much better system in my eyes. Make some items. One of the biggest things that I want to see in Call of Duty Modern Warfare is bringing back these items as far as emblems and titles that are very coveted like they were in Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1. Make some really sick stuff that it, and it doesn't have to be like super complex or anything. Like there were super basic things back in Modern Warfare 2 that made all of us so excited about the game. You know, like the 10th Prestige Medallion, the moving titles, the moving emblems in Black Ops 1. You know, and I know they've done those repeatedly. However, they've done them so much it's almost over overkill and none of them really seem as iconic as they did back in the day and that's something I would love to see them go back to because I think there would be so much more reason to grind really hard and get up to those emblems and titles and earn them because in the end guys that's what we want is we want that replayability and we want to show that we're one of the best in the game or we just have grinded super hard to get to a specific point not showing off that, oh, I paid this much money for a cosmetic item. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you guys concerned about the microtransaction system in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, or are you going to be giving Activision and Infinity Ward a chance? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new, stay positive, and as always, I'll talk to you guys all in the next one. Peace.